Hello YouTube Retro Chef here. This is <coughs> my car boot video from last week. A little bit of Goonies 2 on the old NES. NES. The Fratellis, the Fratellis are back! I wonder if they're ever going to do a Goonies 2. Just talk about it for ages but nothing got done about it. I don't know if that woman's still alive, the, 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 the mum. But yeah, hope you enjoyed my last video. Seems like yesterday I made it. <laughs> so, let me just grab my card boot bits. I hope everyone is good. Um, but yeah, so the car boot today, because today's still Sunday, so it's now it's now nearly one o'clock. Um, I'm on a plate. Yeah, um, car boot, I was going to go today, woke up early, and it was obviously raining, so I thought, fuck that, I'm not going to go out, obviously, and this, and obviously I phoned a few of the car boots early in the morning, and they all had voicemail saying it's close, so, so yeah, I never went. So this is from last week. I only picked up a few bits. Um, I was going to save it till next week, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pile up otherwise. So I thought, let's get out of the way, it's done. But I went to the car boot. Um, it was packed, because it was, it was a nice day. This, this is the bank holiday weekend. It was absolutely packed. Um, but there wasn't a lot of games. There was loads of people. There wasn't a lot of games. So, I don't know where to start. Okay, I'll put them in order that I've gone. So the first one, I was walking around. I didn't see anything for like some for like a good twenty minutes. I was like, "Fuck!" And then I saw this one game in amongst a load of videos. And I always, I always say, videos and all that kind of. If you've seen the old videos, you never know. You might see some Mega Drive games in there or big box Saturn games or anything because. You know, they, 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 you can. You, some people would pass them off as a video. So, and I saw it. I saw the yellow bit. I saw. I, I saw like this bit sticking out, and I thought, oh, that's a Mega Drive game. So I went in there, and the game was LH LHX Attack Chopper, which I've already got. It's complete. Uh, it's not in the great. It's not in the best condition, but I thought, you know what? If someone's after that, you know, I'll pay fifty p for it. So anyone's after LHS, LHX Attack Chopper, which I don't know if it's any good. I have actually, I have got it. He says, where is it? Yep, yeah, I've got to see my one. So anyone's after LH, LHX Attack Chopper, let me know. Fuck, I can't even get a word out. So 50p that was. Trade, anyone want to trade it? Let me know. Walking around, Geezer was selling loads of Star Wars toys and that which I'm a little I'm, I'm, I think I might start getting one of my lights has just gone out that's scary I think I might start getting some Star Wars toys one of my lights has just gone out I don't know why that's gone out oh, there we go oh! so yeah loads of Star Wars toys and other bits and pieces and he had some I was talking to the man he was probably about 40 odd uh, and I asked you had any games, he goes, no, I've got games, I didn't bring them. And he wasn't he, he wasn't willing to like say to me, I'll give me your number sort of thing. So I, I didn't push him. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably, like two of you were saying the other day, really, um, I might start collecting a few toys from like, when I was a kid. I've got, still got, I've still got quite a few, but not as many as I did have. But what he did have, which is pretty cool, I'm probably going to give this to my brother, so Paul, if you watch it, I'm going to give this to you when I see you. But, it is the Star Wars Action Figure Archive. So, basically, it's all the toys 
from Kenna and Hasbo with all the little information about them up till 1999. So all the first three films I would have said. When did Phantom Menace come out? I think Phantom Menace came out in 1999. But it's all the toys, everything about them, all the bits and pieces, what, what, what they're meant to come with them, all little information about, you know, just how they made their weapons and, you know, just, there's so much information here. It's really cool. And he had a McDonald's book for the McDonald's toys, which I would have bought, but someone else had their hand on it, so I was like, Rrr, so I didn't get it. But that was um, two pounds. Oh no, sorry, that was a pound. That was a pound. So I couldn't complain about that. Um, actually, uh, I'm trying to think. So then, I was walking around. So yeah, sorry, that was a pound, so great. I don't know how much it sells for, but I'll give it to my brother, because he's more of a Star Wars fan than I am. I like it, but he loves it. So, walking around, there was a lady selling a um, PlayStation bundle. We had a console load of games. And these are the only two games I really wanted. Um, I know I've got one of them. I've got both of them. Sorry, I've got both of them. But one of them is great trade fodder, but I need to check if it's in better condition than mine and blah, 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 blah. But the other one, I wanted the box because I haven't got this version of it. So that's why I got it. And I, she had £25 for PS1 with the gun, two controllers, steering wheel, and about 20 games. It's actually quite, quite a good deal. But all the games I had, pretty much. But these two I wanted. I thought, you know what, they're good. They're good games. Um, so one of them is definitely better condition than mine. I'm looking at it now, and mine's not in this good condition. So I thought I'd take it. I said to her, look, would you sell those two games? And she was like... I want to sell it as a bundle, and I was like, I've already got like four or five PS1s in here already, so I was like, I don't want to buy any more. I said, look, I only want two games, I said, you know, what would you take from them? And she said, two pound each, and I was like, do you do three? She's like, yeah, all right, I'll do three. So I was like, happy days. So the first one is Command and Conquer, but it's in the, say, it's in a jewel case, which I haven't got. I've got it in a, uh, in a normal a normal case, in a, yeah, a normal PS1 case, so I got it because of that. That's complete. This one I've got, but I couldn't leave it there, and it sells for a lot more than what I paid for it, so it was bloody raw. So I'm well happy with that, and that's definitely better condition than my one. <coughs> Next ones. Um, walking around, an older lady was selling a load of PS2 games, uh, and she said, free for a pound. So I was like, cool. So I got a Star Wars video game, Lego Star Wars, which I, I think I've got that. I must have that, but free for a pound. Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, and a platinum version, but complete mint of Star Wars Battlefront. So anyone after those, let me know. But free for a pound, you couldn't. I couldn't have said no, really. And they're really nice condition, so that's a good one. Um. There was one of those store, which call them? When you had the house clearances, like when someone moves out or someone dies or whatever, and they clear the house out or whatever it was, and they had loads of tubs. <laughs> I've never seen this man before at this car booth, never seen him. I, I don't go all the time, but I've never seen him, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have a look. Tub full of PS1, PS2 games, full of it. So I, I took them all out. I took them all out, went through all of them. And the only one I picked up, because I think I've got this on the Xbox, but I've done about on the PS2. But for a pound, I'll take the risk. I'm not too fussed. Um, it got a lot of shit. This game. It's an alright. I quite like it. It's not the greatest game, but it's an alright game. Uh, it's Final Fight Streetwise. I mean, it is a Capcom game. It got a lot of shit, but for a pound, I'll take that. Uh, There was, carried on walking around, I saw loads of Xbox stuff, but I don't really pick up Xbox 360 stuff, I'm not really into it. I don't know why, I just don't. Uh, but I eventually might do, because obviously I do like Halo and I do like Gears of War. So, walking around, there was a couple, probably my age, 30, 33, well, 35. And it was selling a load of PS1 games, PS2, PS3. Uh, Xbox, but nothing. There's nothing there that I didn't have. 
barring these three, um, they will have panned the game on the PS1. Now, one of them I might have, but I'm not I'm not 100%, but two of them I definitely haven't got. So the one I might have is Arcade Party Pack, which has got 720, Rampage, Smash TV, Super Sprint, Klax, and Tubim. And that's complete. So I thought, yes, I will have that. Second one I definitely haven't got. I don't know how good it is. Made by a revolution which normally do alright games. Don't know nothing about it. But it's uh, In Cold Blood. And then the last one I definitely haven't got and I'm looking forward to playing this because I do like these games. Is Strikers 1945 2. And they wanted £1 each. I got all three for, for two quid. So couldn't complain. Um... Probably the best game of the day. Uh, believe it or not, I've never ever played this. I have got it, but I've never played it. Um, but my one is a, when I bought mine. I bought mine separate, and this one is not to be sold separately. So that's why I picked it up. Uh, even well, I'd picked it up anyway. So the car boot I go to. At one end is all the people get there first, and like you know, the way they put them up. So I walk all the way to the end, to the big, to the beginning where people first come in. <clears throat> and there was this man right in the corner, and he had loads of films, loads of DVDs, he was selling Blu-rays. Um, not a lot of games. He had PS2 and that, and he had just one GameCube game sitting on the table. <laughs> And he didn't even realise he had it himself. And I said, how much is, how much is that, that game, fella? I, I didn't want to say what it, uh, GameCube. I said, oh, how much is the game here, mate? He goes, oh, a pound. So I was like, no problem, mate. I'll take it off you. So for a pound, and I'm going to keep this because, say, it's just not to be sold separately. It's uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Including no memory card, but it's got the points which haven't been scratched out. Which is pretty cool. Something got my roof. Uh, but it includes... Pokemon Box Ruby Sapphire. So, both discs in there. Which, say, I've already got that, but I haven't got the. So, this doesn't. It's not to be sold separately. I don't know if you can read that. I haven't got that one. So, I thought, you know what? I'll have that. <coughs> this has got nothing to do with Goonies. Nothing to do with Goonies at all. It's got Woolly Mammoths. Um, yeah. So that's it guys, so thanks for watching, if anyone's after the Star Wars games or LH, LHX attack chopper, let me know, <clears throat> let me know what you think about the Blu-rays, I mean, you know, I know Tina777, one of my brothers, is into his Blu-rays, um, obviously I know Carl's into his films as well pretty much, and obviously Daz is into his films, but not everyone shows them all, so I don't know if it's something should carry on doing but I thought you know what I've got the games like a telephone I've got the games out of uh, I've got the films out of computer game money so I thought I might as well show them but yeah so guys thanks for watching thanks for my new subscribers um, I'm going to go and play my Retron 5 I think uh, up the arsenal <laughs> and I'll see you all soon take care bye bye